Hey, how's it going guys? Wonderful here, and today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to start exploding in Roblox right now. And here's all five of the steps I'm going to be going over in this video. So I'm going to be showing you how to get an executor, how to find scripts for it, how to get the proper Roblox version for exploding, how to use those scripts, and also how to prevent scams and bans. And the first step before any of this that you have to do is disable the real-time protection in your Windows settings. And if you do leave this setting on, it won't let you download any executors for Roblox. So it's really easy to disable. Come over here to the search bar down here, type in Windows security. It should be the first or second thing that comes up here. And if this is going a little bit too fast for you, you can of course pause the video if you need to. And then on the left side of this menu right here, as you can see, they have virus and threat protection. Click that. You don't have to disable anything else here except for this right here. So right below this where it says virus and threat protection settings, click on manage settings. And right here at the top, this is the only one you have to disable. It's called real time protection. Turn that off. And I will also have another link in the description, which is for defender control. You could just disable it right here, enable, disable. And yeah, once that's disabled, you can now install any executor you want. I definitely recommend you guys use Vega X. It's the best current free executor, which has no keys on it. And you can actually click this button right here, search any game you want. For example, jailbreak, boom, all the scripts for that game will pop up. But yeah, enough of that. As you can see, this is the download right here. You click on this. Boom, it's going to open up this page right here. You want to click on this blue download now button and then save it if you have to. It should open up this thing right here, which is at the top right. And if you're having any issues at all with this step right here, go to your keyboard, hold down the control key and click the letter J. So control J. It's going to open up this downloads menu right here. All you want to do from here is click on keep file if it asks you right here. Once that's done, you can open up the installer, click next. You can decline or accept. I'm going to decline, decline, uh, next, next. And then right here, as you could see, this is the uh, direct file. Really easy. All you have to do is either click open or just copy and paste this. I'd recommend you just click open because then it's going to open up a notepad here. You can just copy that. Go into a new tab in your search bar. Paste in the link that you just copied. Boom. Click save. And now the next step you're going to want to do is go into your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the file to and just drag and drop the file right onto your desktop. Open this up, close any offers it gives you, and here's a really important step. You want to take this file, don't open it like that. You don't want to open it, drag it, like hold down, drag it onto your desktop. So all you do is just click and drag onto your desktop. Once that's done, of course, you have the file right here. Really easy. Open this up. You can read this file right here if you want to have more information, like how to add your own scripts to it, how to use auto execute, how to fix some errors. Now all you have to do is open up this file right here and all of these other folders will appear when you open this for the first time. Well, that's step one done. As you can see, we have our executor. So I'm going to delete that right there. The second, the second step is to find scripts. So for this step, I actually have my own website right here where you can find all the scripts that I'm uploading. So you can click load more. As you can see, we have tons over here already. You can get them straight from here by clicking on them, scrolling down to the get script button on any of these pages. It's going to open up a close any of that stuff. It's going to open up a menu like this at work.inc. All you have to do is click on go to destination, scroll down, go to destination. And then just like that, we have the script right here. And once you have your script, copy this. So just control C or click on this button right there. Paste it into this big box on the executor. But if you want to find scripts in another easy way, click on the script hub right here. Search for your game. Let's do MM2. There we go. We have all these scripts here for MM2 now. And once you found your scripts, the third script is to get the proper Roblox version. And the easiest way to do this is to go onto Google and search for really simple. Click this. You can either click this get in store app or just go into your search bar and type in Microsoft Store. Open this up right here. As you can see, it's going to look something like this probably. Let it load for a bit. And if this doesn't work for you, just DM me on Discord and I'll try to help you out. But as you can see, if you type in the word Roblox onto the Microsoft Store, it's going to show you this right here. Click on Roblox and first install it, of course, if you don't have it already. And then just click on play. And it should look just like the normal Roblox, except now you're going to see like all these. It's going to look a little bit different. But yeah, just join the game from here. Make sure you're never joining the game just by looking up Roblox. Because as you can see right here, there's a Roblox player. There's a Roblox app that isn't this one as well. So yeah, make sure you're using this exact Roblox app. And once you have that, that's step three completely done. Boom. Now step four is using the scripts. So once you've had your, you got your executor, you got the scripts, you got the Roblox version. The only step left to do is to click this inject button right here. Boom. Click inject. 
and you should see it right here near the logo it says uh vega x injected so once you know once you know it's injected join the game and now that you're in the game the only thing left to do is to execute the script so the first thing you want to do is come over here to the script hub or just paste in your script and right here i'm gonna do vidixius mm2 gui so there's one right there we could do hydro hub third one i'm gonna do is a script that i got from my website called the uh eclipse hub click on execute and then boom as you can see it's going to open up all three of these scripts of course you don't need to do what i'm doing here you could just use one at a time but i'm just showing you the capabilities of this you can also come over here to the script hub click on the favorited scripts icon and by default i have all three of these scripts loaded in so one for pet sim x blocks fruits and then infinite yield i'm going to click execute on infinite yield and as you can see if i type in dex this will run a synapse edition of dex so really cool features over here and that's going to be the fourth script completely done so now you know how to get your executor you know how to get the game you know how to use your scripts the final thing i'm going to be going over is if you're new to exploiting you probably don't know how to avoid bans scams and viruses the main thing i tell you guys to do is to never the thing i tell you guys to do is to always enable any setting on a script that says kick when an admin joins the game so that should be in some of these guis i'm not sure if it's on this one but the main, re the main way people get banned in these games is when people report you with a video to an admin and then the admin joins the game and they see you with their own eyes exploiting. Because almost every script these days is undetectable, so the game itself is never going to ban you, it's going to be an admin who bans you. So for example, if you're playing a game like Blocks Fruits, of course that's not going to be an issue because there's just so many, ex there's so many exploiters where they'll never catch you. But if you're playing like a smaller game, let's say like Slap Battles, I know it doesn't seem that small, but in that game, they report people on Discord and they get banned within the same day. So you definitely want to be a little bit more discreet with that, maybe play in a VIP server or something. But yeah, this is going to be really easy to prevent bans. You basically, you basically just have to make sure admins can't find you. Of course, if you want to just never get banned, just play on an alt account because Roblox makes it really easy to make alt accounts. You can just rejoin the game. Um, of course, you can also go to the... There's some like website that makes alt accounts for you. I forgot what the name was. Beyond the second point of this, which is the preventing viruses and scams, the easiest way to do that is to never go onto some random YouTuber's video. There's a lot of people who are like re-uploading real script creators videos. You also don't want to be downloading anything from pop-ups because those could be like adware or something. You just don't want to be doing that. You also don't want to be responding to messages in Discord. For example, people can send you a message saying, here, test out my new executor, and you download it and it's going to be a virus. So just stay safe like that. And let's say, for example, you don't want to be uh, downloading Vega X. You can also download any other executor. I'm going to show you some of the main websites for some of these. Some other examples. So here's Fluxus' uh, website, fluxteam.net. Evon's is sackpot.com slash Evon Executor. Electron is rios.lol. But yeah, make sure you're being completely safe with these. Because as an example, if I look up Hydrogen, as you can see, they have a ton of websites here and a lot of these are completely just viruses. If you see right here, we're scrolling down, we can see Hydrogen Executor, Hydrogen Executor V71. Here's one right here, here's one right here. And if you just keep scrolling down, you'll never see the end of it. And if you look up Vega X, for example, make sure you're getting the real one right here at the top. And the final thing I'm going to be going over, which isn't actually on this list, is the just how to fix common errors that you're going to be finding on your executor. The main and most common error I've ever seen is when people get, when they're trying to inject into the game and it says you're running the wrong version of Roblox or Vegax doesn't support this version. Oh, that's really simple to fix. That means you're not using the Microsoft Store to open Roblox. So just go over here, make sure you're using Microsoft Store. So open it up straight from here, as you can see. And every time you're going to open up Roblox, make sure you're doing it like this. Search Roblox click on it and play another common issue that i see all the time is people who are saying that they can't open the executor if you're opening it and you know how usually there's an animation right here let me show you just like this if it freezes right there and the red that usually means that you are having like, you have like a internet blocker or maybe you have a, a pc blocker something that's blocking connection to vigax servers so you want to use a vpn maybe you want to disable your antiviruses stuff like that just anything that could be possibly blocking it but yeah, besides those two, I don't really see anything, any other issues. Just make sure the folder is extracted. Make sure it looks something like this after you've opened it. And if you want to add your own scripts to this menu, I have a list of scripts right here that I'm going to copy and paste in. But if you don't have any of these, let me just copy and paste them. Boom, just like this. And now as you can see, when I open up Vega X, it should look, you should see a bar on the top, on the right side. 
right here as you can see all my scripts are in here so whenever i want to click on one i could just click on it and it's going to put it straight into this menu but yeah i mean hope you guys like this video that's pretty much all there is to it and yeah if you liked it make sure to subscribe like the video if you can and as always peace